Okay, so the serviceman came around to have a look at my chromogen and he gave me a tip um, on how to run these. Uh, you'll find whenever the hot water's turned on, on mine anyway, the heater always turns on. Like now on a sunny day when this is fully primed and the water of the tank is really hot, it still turns on and runs that instantaneous. So it's still burning gas every time that happens. So what the serviceman said to me, he said, look, um, when you don't have a high hot water need, and there's just three in my house, um, when you don't have a high hot water need, you can actually turn that gas heater off. And then what you're doing is just running on the hot water that's in here. And he said that to me right at the start of summer and I turned the gas heater off. How do you do that? There is an electrical cord coming out of the gas heater that doesn't go to the storage tank, it goes up to the gas heater. That runs, looking at that gray cord down here, and you can turn it off. See, that is currently off, on, off. And with that electrical power off, that gas heater will not trigger. So it goes from triggering every time, even if this is full of hot water, to not triggering. So I went for five weeks um, with that switched off and I was just running on the solar. And the only cost of the solar hot water is the cost of the water, obviously, and just a tiny bit of cost for running this motor, which is circulating up onto the solar panel. Um, now in this video as well, I'll give you a look at the solar panel. There's, you can see out of the top of the pump, it runs um, up onto the roof in the house. And this is the return where it comes back from the roof and back into that tank and it stores this hot water in that big storage tank. My next door neighbor has exactly the same system, so I can show you here. Um, that's what the solar panel that it runs up to looks like. The water comes in and out through those insulated fittings in the bottom, and there's a little sensor wire which runs up to it as well, and the sensor wire works out when there is uh, potential to heat your water. So it'll turn that little pump on, get the system circulating um, so that you can heat up your hot water. And that's the basics of it. But that is the trip, the little trick that uh, the Chromogen serviceman gave me. And as I said, I gave it a, a try and it's worked an absolute treat. What did happen um, at the end of that period, we had a really cloudy, cloudy rainy day, no potential to heat water at all. And that night uh, there was a bath and a couple of showers. And then the next morning after the first shower, there was no hot water, but it was no tragedy at all. We simply came walking out here Turn the gas heater back on, flick the switch, bang, instant. The instantaneous heater came on and we instantly had hot water. No waiting for it to heat up, no tragedy, anything like that. And then the next day was sunny again. So we came back out. I mean, obviously after it had, well, no, we just came straight back out and turned the gas booster off because it didn't need to be on. And it just took its time, did its thing and filled itself fully up with hot water again. So there you go. That was the tip from the Chromogen serviceman and we've been doing it and working a treat. So as long as you're aware and you can come out here and um, turn that back on, if you do run out of hot water, um, that system works. So the way it's supposed to work is that um, this instantaneous heater only works when there's not enough hot water coming out of here, but that's not what actually works with my unit. And the Chromogen guy said, no, that they do still turn on. And that was what I found. So if you find at the end of a hot day, you know, when the hot water's fully on, get someone to turn a hot water tap on if your heater is still turning on. Um, if you want to save that money, save that um, gas, you can turn it off with the electrical switch and run just on solar. So the two can be isolated and run separately. Um, and as I said, if the hot water runs out, it is not a stress. Um, you can come out, switch that back on, and because that heater, the gas heater is instantaneous, you'll instantly have hot water again. You can do it while someone's in the shower. If they're like, hey, it's not hot enough, you just come out, turn it on, it'll be hot enough. You can even do it mid-shower. Um, so there you go. That's a tip from the Chromogen service guy that's given us six weeks so far of running without that gas heater switched on at all. And so therefore, saving us some good money. There you go.